This is Block 10, the 1960s, Part 3, Social Upheaval, with the section of the Mainline Churches. From the time of the Pilgrims, America had largely been a religious nation, with ebbs and flows of religious belief, but with the First Great Awakening, the Second Great Awakening, the Reform Movement's prohibition, the simple Sunday belief of most Americans had been common and taken for granted and had been a, a fundamental part of who we were uh, as a people. But in the 1950s and into the 1960s, the traditional, what were known as the mainline churches, uh, began to decline. And the mainline churches are traditionally understood to be kind of the old Protestant denominations, you know, that had been established in the United States in colonial days and still exist to this day, uh, but with much less power and influence that they had. These, we're talking about the Episcopalians, the Methodists, the Presbyterians, the Lutherans, the Reformed Church. Uh, all of these churches that had played such an enormous role uh, in American social, political, religious history Membership had peaked in the 1950s, in the early 50s, and then began to decline. Um, that going to church on Sunday for, you know, kind of middle-class Protestant Americans was no longer as important uh, as it had been in the past. And it's no longer as important because the, the churches themselves, it's not just their numbers that are declining, but it's their influence. As the society around them grows more tolerant and more liberal, uh, and, and more modern, quote-unquote, um, the churches, in an attempt to kind of keep up with the times, they relax their own rules, and they relax all their standards. Uh, so what happens is two things. Um, people who want kind of a, a conservative church, people who want the church to represent kind of the old-fashioned rules and mores, uh, they leave the church because the church that they were in, these pro, you know, liberal Protestant churches, no longer were um, sufficiently traditionally religious enough that the religious, you know, that the religion kind of softened and, you know, church kind of became this happy-go-lucky place, you know, uh, to hang out. And, like, and the religious aspect of it was lost. And those people who still wanted, you know, that old-time religion... Uh, and there were millions of them, they kind of started moving to more conservative evangelical churches. Those people who stayed, you know, the, the more liberally minded people who stayed, the questions that religion, you know, used to answer were being answered more and more by science and more and more by educated secular elites, you know. If you want to understand why a person is the way they is, you know, all of a sudden, you know, the, the faddish fields of psychology and sociology start to answer questions, you know, that people had used to, had used to find answers to kind of in, the, in, in, in belief and in the stories of the Bible. And more liberal, you know, ch people who used to go to church started finding, you know, answers to the, the deeper questions of the world. Uh, in science and in experts and in new, you know, secular scientific fields, um, at social scientists and academic experts. So your mainline churches, you know, lost a lot of people both going in both directions. You know, people for whom church should be a traditional and authoritative experience went to more conservative evangelical churches, and people, you know, who tended to be more liberal in the first place the, the church's social authority, you know, the church not only traditionally had religious authority, you know, this is, you know, what God wants, and this is how we ought to live our lives in accordance to God's will, but religion also had social authority, and there, the religious authority erodes, and people go to more conservative churches, and the social authority erodes, because those social questions, for a lot of liberals especially, are more easily... Uh, less judgmentally answered uh, in the realm of social science. And the Protestant churches, you know, soon fell empty, or emptier than they had been at least. Uh, their authority on religious matters taken over by more conservative churches, and their cultural authority uh, taken over by secular elites. And this is a trend that continues to this day. Um, the strong and powerful churches in the United States are the more traditional conservative churches, 
uh, and the mainline churches of uh, old American Protestantism remain in a slow and steady and it seems very possibly irreversible uh, decline. And it's a huge change in American culture. Uh, the, the ending of the influence uh, of the, the, the mainline Protestant churches.